So as all, any other marketing uh, channels that exist there online, email marketing is uh, another powerful channel that you can leverage uh, for your business in order to get more sales or more leads, for example, or yeah, okay, to grow your business, to make more money, right? Welcome to Winshit Marketing Podcast, the place where creators learn how to do marketing better. I'm your host, Andre Sip, and I hope you will enjoy this episode. You know, you can basically use the email to send emails to different people on the internet. You can find people's email address on internet, on LinkedIn, public, or on Instagram, or on Google. You can search on Google Maps some businesses and you can get their email address. And with that email address, basically you create your list. And with that list that you created, um, you can send emails to people in order to uh, market your products. But there is a little problem here. When you write emails to random people, it means that they don't know who you are. They are like your cold audience. I mean, they are people who don't really know who you are or who uh, is your company or what you are doing and what are your results, uh, what should they trust you and they basically don't know anything about you. So they uh, may be very skeptical and usually there is a problem with this skepticism too. Uh, This is one of the problems but there can be more problems. For example, they won't even open your emails and so on. So this is a way to build a list of uh, people's contact data, like email and phone number and so on. But there's another option you can do this with uh, a list building method using a lead magnet, for example. And this is better and it's most used in uh, email marketing. It's a better method, a better strategy. Why? Because if you attract people to you and you don't go to people, you know, it's inbound marketing, not outbound marketing, you can have like more trust for people. People will know you in the first place because they come to you. You don't go to them. You know, even if at uh, if you are at uh, a job interview, if the person who gives you the interview, uh, reach out to you, it means that you are in a state, in a position of power, because they come to you, you didn't come to them. So in this case, you have more power there. You have their trust in the first place, you know, and um, you can ex- you can leverage this power in your favor to make more money, right? So how can you um, build this list with a leak magnet? Let's say you have a offer, a business offer, whatever, you know, a digital product, a a digital service, a a local service like a restaurant or, you know, whatever, or maybe a clothes store. So you can think about what people will need in order to, to share their data with you. And their data is their name and email address. In e-commerce, for example, you can use a 10% discount coupon and make people to give their email address in exchange of that discount. So people will get like a, you know, 10% off uh, whatever they are buying and you will get their email address where you can, after that, you can send them emails. And that's nice, right? Um, you can also create like ebooks for lead, for lead magnet, like PDF guides or um, an ebook uh, re- related to your domain, where you solve people problems. Think about whatever problem people are having in your domain, and try to make an ebook that will solve their problems. And you 
give that information for free in exchange of their email address. And there are more things you can do. You can give them a training uh, or a live consulting or a coaching uh, session or a online course or it can be anything. You can give them a free sample of whatever you're doing, a free trial. Just make sure you use um, a free lead magnet in order to get their email address. After you get their email address, people will all will will give it to you, right? In exchange of that information or, or in exchange of that offer that you have for free for them. And after that, they will at least they will know who you are and you can send them emails. You can send them uh, and here you can approach different strategies. You can approach like a strategy where you create daily content on emails and you deliver that content on emails for them. For example, daily, I don't know, da daily blog articles or daily motivational things or daily whatever, right? And people will get your emails every day. They will start to notice uh, who you are. They will get, uh, get more trust in you. And uh, they will see that you are very good in a certain topic or in a certain area and they will buy your products eventually. You can also use this email marketing to create offers on email, special offers only for those who are subscribed to your newsletter, for example, and there is more. So in this case, you can basically um, build an, uh, your, your subscriber list with a, a league mag magnet and you can grow your, uh, your business effectively. Email marketing is very, very good also because when you have their data, uh, you can share like this piece of information with them every day or at any hour you like. Uh, think about that uh, you are right now on, um, on a train station and you start to scroll on your phone, right? And you notice that you have, hey, I have a new email. Let's check it. And you see that your email is from uh, me, for example, from, from Andre. And you will check my email and you will see that, hey, uh, I have some information for you. And you like that information because you know it's from me. And you know that I give information related to what uh, whatever you are interested in. For example, digital marketing in this case. So you will read my content. You will see, oh, look what Andre says about this certain topic or whatever. And uh, what I can do, and this is what you can do too, to your audience, you can write some valuable, pro provide some value, valuable content on your email, then go on um, with an offer. Try to, try to promote some things on email, but don't be very intrusive, you know? Don't be very, very, uh, don't try to sell so hard to people because they will notice that you are desperate to sell something to them and they will not buy from you in this case, you know, they won't buy from you. Um, if you are desperate to sell something, just inform them, inform about your offers, inform about your, your special deals. Of course, you can use some persuasion in, in, uh, in that text, in that copy to make it more appealing right? Don't try to manipulate people. It's not et ethical in the first place, but of course, maybe you don't care about ethics, but um, they won't buy it from you if you are desperate, you know, because people can smell it. If you, you, you know, you can smell if someone is desperate to sell something to you and you don't like it. It feels that it's pushy, you know, it feels that it's intrusive. So you don't want to do this. You just need to make sure people get your value. People will, you will build trust, more trust because you share more value to them. And uh, eventually they will buy your stuff when they are ready to buy. And if they think that that's for them, if not, of course, it's not mandatory, but yeah, uh, you can, that's, that's a way you can leverage email marketing. And of course, 
um, that's only one type of email marketing. You can use email for uh, marketing or maybe transactional email marketing to make like more transactions. And this is more related to e-commerce. Uh, this means that you have some uh, automation in place on your store. For example, when people are buying a product, you will have some automated email that will um, will make people to buy your uh, your stuff to make upselling you know to to buy another product that it's related to that product for example let's say that you have a store with um, with gadgets and people are buying for example there is one person who is buying an, an the new iphone 15 pro max right so after they buy your uh, that phone from your store you will have your uh, your email in place out automatically that will uh, send them maybe another gadget maybe uh, an iwatch or maybe uh, maybe a charger a new usb c charger or maybe or maybe or maybe a selfie stick or you know whatever something that is that works very fine with that with that iphone and you can make this cross sell or upsell stuff automatically with automatic emails or maybe people are uh, saving products in your store and when they uh, their products are going on sale for example you have like uh, promotions and discounts to those products you can have like automatically emails for them to remind them about their products who are saved on your on your store and um, they will buy it when they are like you no know, when they get a little promotion a little discount it's an, it's very nice it's it's a powerful thing and email marketing is very powerful if you use it in a transactional way in this case but this is for e-commerce if you have like a service product or if you have like um, if you have like a service business or if you have like different types of you know offers you can use email marketing to make people to be more connected to your business to more to be more connected with your brand try to create something that's um, it's like a newsletter, you know, that's weekly newsletter or daily newsletter and send them every time the that uh, newsletter to them. And in this case, you can build, build their trust and people will, because trust nowadays is very important. People are skeptical, but the more value you share to them and the more things do you, uh, they, they find uh, or they agree with you, they will eventually uh, buy stuff from you and that's nice all right so now let's pretend you want to do email marketing for yourself right as a content creator or as a creator for your business or your you're an entrepreneur or you know um after you build your list with a lead, ma lead magnet of course that lead magnet you can um, you need some uh, sort of form you know a form where people can uh, enter their email address and their name and you will get that uh, from them you can use some email marketing tools like mailchimp or mailerlite or active campaign or whatever in order to have this crm where you can see your subscribers where you can see your automations your emails your, you can design your emails you can create content there with that tool that you have created with that tool with that uh, lead magnet you can promote it on google you can promote it on social media um, paid organically with your followers right and people will subscribe to your newsletter so you need a, a email marketing platform right you can use also gmail or free emails but if you have like more than 100 subscribers you you need a uh, email marketing platform because it will help you with 
uh, statistics, will help you with del deliverability, it will help you with um, the content, the design of the emails and so on. So I, re I recommend MailerLite for email marketing. I will give you a link in my description um, where you can uh, sign up for uh, that uh, mailer light and you, you will get a discount if you use my link. I recommend this platform because you have like a lot of automations. It's uh, cheaper than any other platforms. I mean, you don't have bugs, you don't have any errors. You have a good support. You have a lot of options with a fair price. Um, you can have like drag and drop builder where you can uh, use and arrange your content uh, as you want and as you like you can add images you can add links buttons on your emails you can basically build build, build a landing page on uh, an email and it's it's very nice you can connect it with your website you can use their forms you can, you can have surveys they have, they also have surveys and there is more so use this platform and um Create an account there, connect, connect it to your website or to whatever uh, you want. They have also a free API. After you have your list built, it, try to create a sort of strategy. Try to make people uh, to understand who you are and what you have for them. And this is like more strategical thinking here. Why? Because in order to send emails to people, you want to send emails that people actually want right so this means that you need to know your customers you need to know your your future clients let's say so and uh, this means that your offer your free lead, lead, lead magnet should be very very nice and very compelling and very uh, strong for your target audience you don't want to create a lead magnet just to uh, add random people to your email because you don't, you they won't, they won't buy from you. So, for example, I am a digital marketer, right? I uh, have digital marketing courses. I have the, the digital marketing. Um, I have the uh, Discord community where you can uh, join. If you use the link in my bio, you can join my my Discord community, right? And um, you can see that I have a lot of content there too for my community. Um, so I have a lot of offers, like my services, my consulting services, and so on. I don't want, for example, in my list, people who are not interested in what I have to offer. Because it's useless. I mean, they, they, they only see my messages, my emails, but they won't buy from me nothing. Because they are not interested in, interested in what I have to sell for them. So try to think in advance and make a strategy for long term and try to attract people that will be interested in what you have to sell in the future for them don't attract people just to have like your list with a lot of people because they won't buy from you and you will waste money because if you want to have more people in your list you need to pay you need to you need to pay for people how many people are, are on your list or you need to pay on how many emails you send it, it depends on the platform that you choose um so don't try to add many people to your list just to have the numbers. You don't need the numbers. You need the quality here. It's better to have like 100 people who are interested in what you have to sell than to have 1K people or 10K people uh, that are not interested in what you have to sell. You know, don't need here in email marketing. You don't need the views. You don't need followers. You need people who buy because because email marketing is powerful and it's a channel for selling stuff in the first place of course you can inform people and so on but the purpose of email marketing is basically to sell something and or to convert people to something that's uh the power of email marketing you don't need followers on email marketing you know you don't need a lot of people on your email marketing you need quality quality people quality audience people who are willing to to learn from you or to work with you or to be in your community and so on that's that's better so uh, you will probably think about hey uh, andre but 
of course I ha I have this list May let's say that uh, you build a list of 100 or three of, or 500 or 1k people with uh, whatever method you are using with paid ads organic content or whatever let's say you have the offer that you want to sell to them but um, how can you make your emails to be more you know um, powerful let's say so I mean you can just create an email with one button that's that's uh, that is making people to buy your stuff but they nobody will buy it and you you need to know why right this is the art of copywriting I, I guess your email marketing is more into text than into video but you can also add like video links to your uh, emails and send people to your YouTube channel or to your YouTube video and you will convert in your video if you are more comfortable with your video but if you want to create like text or copy you need to know that um, people will buy if they have something to get from you like more benefits some guarantees um, let's say that you add some persuasive stuff like uh, a, a time limit or a slot number limit like I only have 100 um, chairs at my desk you know something like this and only 100 people can buy from me uh, and this is an exclusive offer like premium offer for from me this is an example you know but there are more there are more things you can use more strategies and this is one of them use some scarcity use some um, persuasive stuff if you don't want if you don't know exactly what uh, I mean by persuasion or persuasive persuasive stuff uh, search on Google this keyword uh, the the key the key elements of persuasion and you will find some articles related to persuasion and you will you will find out what you can uh, use in your content to be more persuasive and to make people to buy from you without using manipulation so in order to to have a powerful email you need in the first place to have good deliverability what is that it means that you need people to actually get your emails so you you need to avoid spam as much as possible how you avoid spam you need to uh, know some email marketing rules for example in in every email you need to add the unsubscribe button uh, you need to have uh, maybe your domain authentication uh, to your email provider uh, you can have like different things uh, like more it's more like technical stuff that you need to, to do make sure that people will get your emails and they will not send it they will not get it uh, into the spam folder um, after that after this deliverability uh, problem you need to make sure people will click your uh, email because if they don't they cannot read your email if they don't click on it so make sure you uh, are fo you focused on the open rate and the open rate can be uh, you can change the open rate based on uh, things different things for example um, make a better copy to your title to your subject add some emoji add personalization for example address that uh, email with their name with your customers email right for example if you are subscribed to my newsletter you will see that in some new newsletters I add your name into the uh, subject and you will click on it because you are interested because you know it's for you right uh, add better copy with which means that you need to make people for example curious about what you have to say or ask a question or send uh, make sure it's a, a good deal for them add the deal in the in the subject line and make sure the subject is very related to what you have to say in the uh, content in the email itself because if you have like a clickbait uh, title and people will arrive in your 
in your email and you will uh, read something that is very very different they will uh, be angry and they will unsubscribe now after you have uh, your open rate in place you need to make sure you have the click rate and what is click rate uh, is basically the amount of people who are clicking on links that you add to your email i said that email uh, marketing is used for converting it's used for uh, in order to make to make uh, people to buy from you right so make sure you have the content there you can add some storytelling you can have some uh, let's say good uh, good copy that will make people to click on that link on that button and they will buy your offer they will get your deal you know and you need to need to make sure they will get it now not later because later they will not get it they will not come to your newsletter again they will forget about it so in the moment they they are reading that you need to make them to buy in that moment don't don't make people to buy tomorrow or later because they will not of course you can send them another email to remind them that you have a special deal or special offer but that's uh, up to you so this is another thing uh, about how many emails you can send to people what is the fre what is the frequency of uh, emails that you can send uh, you can you can send as many emails as you want um try to see the statistics that try to see if people are actually uh, open opening your emails try to see if people are not unsubscribing from your emails because if you see like a bigger unsubscribe rate or a less open rate it means that your emails are too spammy it means that you send too many emails and yeah that's up to you it's it's better to have like one quality email per per week than uh, seven emails per week you know that are poor in terms of quality or in terms of uh, what you have to say so make sure you uh, you take this into consideration what you can do also uh, before they subscribe you can you can tell them hey every time every saturday for example i will give you uh, my email my newsletter that it's about da 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 you know and people will memorize this and they will know that in every saturday they will get your email and that is about whatever you know and try to be consistent try to be consistent with your emails with your content because people will appreciate that so i think that um, that's another thing you can do uh, with email marketing to try to be persistent and consistent uh write as many emails as you want don't don't try to be too spammy don't try to push things too further don't try to make so many deals and different offers because people will get very uh, you know um think think that you are a customer think that you are your customer what your customer would like to get from you and how many times would like to see to hear or to see from you right you don't want to be too spammy because people also have uh, uh other emails from your competitors for your uh, different colleagues on or from different domains from different people and they cannot consume too much information per day and uh, yeah treat email marketing as a another powerful channel in your marketing strategy and um, you are good to go uh, there are also some trends you can use in email marketing um for example of course you can use ai tools to have better email marketing content right like better message you can use chatgpt for example or for better images or for better you know videos you can use other email tools uh, you can also you can use other ai tools you can uh, run a b tests if you want to make sure your con your 
subject is the best. You can learn more about email marketing. Um, I will create more videos about this if you if like. Just let me know in the comments in my YouTube channel, in my YouTube video. Uh, this episode is going to be posted on YouTube, but in on Spotify and other, you know, other places. But on YouTube, I want you to to go there and write me comments if you want to learn more about email marketing, and I can create like email marketing tutorials and videos for you to get to know better this email marketing stuff, the email marketing game. Uh, don't forget to uh, join my community, my Discord community. I will let you the link in this. Uh, video in this video description make sure you comply with the gdpr or with uh, spammy things like don't don't get spammy the try to comply with G, uh, gdpr rules if you are in europe if you don't want to get huge fines related to email marketing re related to customer da data protection try to see what other people are doing in email marketing uh, watch or read more articles and videos related related to this stuff and uh, I think that's pretty much it about email marketing in this episode. Of course, that can be more to talk about in this channel, but for beginning, I think that's enough. Thank you very much for listening or for uh, watching this uh, episode. See you on the next one.